So, have I made a video about the race and now I'm doing it now and the video that I've been gonna do right now is the one that I've been waiting to do for a few weeks now is my thoughts of Chris Jericho versus Kenny Omega at Wrestle Kingdom 12. Yes, I'm talking about this match and my thoughts. Before I get to that, my name, my channel is Super Revolution, and let's talk about the match. Um, first off, kudos to Chris Jericho and New Japan and Kenny for making this a secret like like for me personally like I knew the match was gonna happen because there was heat on Twitter that it that the heat was so intensified that it had to lead to a match but I think most of us didn't see that coming this soon like nobody saw that come so when it happened people were like holy shit like literally like and this is obviously a great move obviously and and I think Kenny Omega is really probably the best wrestler in Japan right now that's just my opinion. Kenny Omega is the best crust. And I think he could give Good Jericho one of his best matches of his later portion of his career. Maybe, maybe ever, maybe I have, I hype in this kind of too much because like I said, Kenny Omega is fucking awesome. Just watch his Wrestle Kingdom in the match with Okada. But um, yeah, and um, yeah, and and I think Jericho said it really best. If this was in WWE at WrestleMania, it would not feel special. The reason why it's special because it's gonna be Chris Jericho's first match outside of fans WWE in almost 20 years. He has not wrestled now one match outside of that organization. Not once in almost 20 years. Not once. So that's the reason why it's so special because it's Jericho's. Because Jericho's is performing outside of that in almost two decades. And when and when he's wrestling a guy who in the caliber of a Kenny Omega creates magic even more. So I really think this is gonna be a great match. Really gives this stuff by Ben Dane Melser. I don't know, I think at least four point seven five stars or maybe even five stars. But a sister match, like, I don't know about that. It's just, we never know because I think for this match with Jericho, I think Jericho will wrestle more different style in this match than most in his WWE match. I think you might see a little change of his style. When, when he's wrestling Kenny Omega, I think it's I think he will able to do more moves because in WWE there's always a habit of the wrestlers being so limited, not able to perform at their fullest potential. And Chris Jericho Well and yes, Jericho's getting old, yes. He's turned, I think, turned 47 years old. 
I think yeah. So while Jared goes getting older, I still do believe he could put for a great match. And I think he you will see a great performance out of Jericho in this match. So yeah, and can I wait for the match? Great Jericho vs. Roman at Wrestle Kingdom 12 on January the 4th. It's gonna be epic. Um I want is Jericho and for on your man masters. No, Jericho is not on the counter with the WWE. He is not on the country and will he will and will he appear on the world 25th anniversary ah no I don't think that either I think it's because of Fox so yeah so yeah so Jericho can do whatever he wants if he wanted to do that Western Kingdom match against Kenny Omega on January 4th he was gonna do that. He was gonna get his wish. So yeah, that's my opinion on the match. So whoever decide our lights is gonna tell me what you think about Alpha vs Omega, Jericho vs Ken in the comment section below. I'm Jason Marinius and I approve this match.